is going on YouTube? A little bit different video today. In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about voltage and taking a look at this really cool LF Audio volt meter. Let's get into it. What is going on, guys? Do you like super high quality, awesome equipment? Oh, sorry, not this guy. Sorry about that. But do you like super high quality equipment that looks awesome, sounds awesome, and outlast pretty much everything that I have tested out on this channel? Well, if you do, that is why I love partnering with Def Bonts. I put all the Def Bonts subs through my most extreme test out of any sub, and y'all, they make it through, and that is just ultimately why I love them. Also, their stuff looks super cool, not cookie cutter whatsoever. Now, whether you want an awesome amp, an awesome sub, some great crisp door speakers, Defonce has you covered. I can't say enough good things about them, y'all. And I know most of y'all have seen the videos. You have seen how well these things do. There will, of course, be a link in the description below to Alfred Audio. Go check them out. We really appreciate them supporting the channel. Now, back to the video. That is right, guys. Voltage, super, super important when it comes to an upgraded system in your car. Now this really can go for anything if you're adding extra lights, extra amps, PA speakers, any of that stuff. You need to have an appropriate electrical system to handle all of that stuff. And most of your 12 volt accessories need close to that 12 volts to even operate correctly. Normally if you drop below 11 to 10 volts, lights, amps, stuff like that will just shut off, they won't work, and you could even damage your equipment. Also, the higher voltage you have, at least up to a certain point, the better performance you're going to get out of your system. Now, one place you can see this is those older car headlights. As your voltage goes up, those lights will get brighter. When that voltage drops, you'll see those lights get dimmer. Now, if you have really good batteries, really good alternators, you can maintain a higher voltage. You're going to get more power through your amplifier easier. So you're going to get more watts out of this ampl amplifier at 14 volts then you're gonna get out of at 12 volts. And if you're pushing your system really, really, really hard, if this amp, you know, maybe dips down below 11 volts or below uh, 10 volts, we actually could risk damaging your amp, damaging your equipment, blowing something, and you could even risk damaging your batteries. Point being, guys, it is super, super important to be watching your voltage when you have an aftermarket system in your vehicle. For example, guys, here's the system that I have in this vehicle to do all my testing in of the different speakers. Of course, down here, we have a massive battery bank. What this bank does, this bank basically stores up all the amps that this guy needs to pull. Big amp like this can pull in burst of, you know, well in excess of 600 amps, maybe up to a thousand or even more. Now I have two voltage meters that I keep up front so I can monitor my system. I've got this little cheap guy right here. This reached the voltage basically coming off of my alternator up front in the car. This guy reads the voltage in the battery bank in the back. You can see when I turn the car on, it put a draw on my system. So you see the volts went down a little bit. Now, of course, we have a big battery bank in the back. So you have a little higher volts than you do up front. And let's go ahead and turn this on so the alternator kicks on. Okay, now that my alternator is on, this guy's showing higher voltage because again, it's coming straight from the alternator. Whereas this guy's gonna be a little bit less just because you lose a little bit of voltage you know, through the wire because of resistance. Now, these little voltmeters that I have over here are really cool. Basically, they fit where your 12 volt cigarette lighter would be in your car, at least in, of course, older vehicles. They're like five bucks. They get the job done, but they're not great. You can't fine tune the voltage on them, and they're a little slow and not super accurate. My opinion, that's okay, guys, but if you want to be super, super accurate, you might want to look at a guy like this. Here is the little meter. Now, what is really cool? You scan this, download the app on your phone so you can configure it. I think that is super neat. Of course, LF Audio HP voltmeter or high precision voltmeter. Let's check this guy out. We get our little plug. And then here it is, guys, the little meter. Now, this thing is really cool. It does have a metal, really, really nice metal case. We have some little fins here, kind of act as a heat sink. A little bit bigger than an inch by an inch screen. Really nice little compact unit, but yet still big enough that you can easily see it. And then down here, y'all, we have four little plugs. Now, of course, we have our ground and our 12 volt. The 12 volt, that's gonna be your constant 12 volt. That's what saves the memory on this guy. And then we have two remote wires. 
Now, what's really cool about this guy is that you can have two wires going to two separate places, so you can monitor your voltage at two separate places. So, for example, where I have two separate voltmeters in there to measure two separate places, hey, this guy would take care of both of those. I can see right on the screen what my voltage up front was under the hood and what it was back in the back at my battery or whatever else I wanted to do. This guy could do it. All right, let's check out this thing. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it's gonna pull this open. So it talks about the software, the wiring. So to download it, we're gonna click right here. You can do it, your course is in the Google Play Store or the App Store. We'll go to the App Store. Let's download it. So once it's up, if it's all any devices, you would add them or you can just hit the little plus. Of course, we don't have ours hooked up yet, so we're gonna go do that and then we'll get this linked up. To hook this thing up, super, super simple. First off, of course, we have this little plug right here. I love that this guy uh, unplugs, so you can hook everything up first and then plug it in when you're ready. Super nice, don't gotta worry about shorting stuff out. But anyway, here's a little plug. You just slide your wires into there and tighten down these screws, then you're good to go. Over here, we got some wire ready. Got some brown for the negative, some red for the positive, blue wire for the remote turn on. So let's get this thing hooked up. So again, you'll just slide this in there, tighten it down, just like that. All right, we've got these three hooked up, all we'll need for today. And then on this side, we're going to hook up a couple of these ring terminals right here. I really like these things. You put them on there, you clamp them on, you then get a heat gun and heat this up. Creates a really nice seal and a really nice finish on the wire. All right, there we go. That creates a really, a really nice connection, guys. I love these things. You can buy a whole pack of these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Anyway, let's hook this thing up. Got this wired up. Now I've just got the Remote wire wired into my 12 volt post on my battery bank since we're just testing this out over, over here. Of course, you would normally wire it into the 12 volt switch in your system, but uh, I think we're hooked up right. Let's plug this guy in, see what happens. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty cool, guys. All right, I've got this mounted here so y'all can see it a little bit better. Oh, it is super cool. Guys, apparently when this screen first turned on, it gave me the code, and it was 602207. All right, we are connected. Okay, so what's really cool, you can see it'll show you the same thing here on the app, which is neat. So, of course, if, if we had both things hooked up, you could monitor two separate things. We just got the one here, though. Y'all, this is so fast, though. Oh, look at this. Y'all, we got settings... What? Yo, this is so neat. Guys, this is incredible. This is the coolest thing. Look at all these settings. What? Which one is y'all's favorite? I don't know. This one's pretty cool. Okay, so what's also neat is that you can adjust... All of your parameters here. So voltage, decibel places two. We of course can we can go to three. We can go to one. Oh, how cool is that? Look at that thing go. Y'all, so much cool stuff here. So let's go to settings. Ah, uh, okay. So here's where you change your voltage. Oh, it's really neat. We've got probe one drift, probe two drift. That is cool. Graph width five seconds. Okay, so for here. Look at that. So basically, again, what this is doing, if you lose voltage coming from your through your wires, you can adjust it here. Oh, you can adjust it a ton. Not that you'd ever need to. Normally, it's just going to be off maybe a volt at most. You can fine-tune it. So neat, y'all. We'll just leave it like that, but oh my goodness, there's so many things. And then I guess if you had multiples of these, you can name it. Then you can have multiples up. 
Yo, I am loving this thing. Also, as you can see, it'll show your min and max voltage. You can see, since we haven't been doing anything, it's been staying right in there. Huh, super cool, guys. Yo, this thing is by far the coolest little gadget when I get to doing my big build that we're gonna be doing here on the channel this year. Definitely gonna be hooking this guy up, y'all. It's gonna be so, so handy. And hey, it's gonna look super cool when I'm in all those shows. But next up, let's turn my little system on. Let's put some music through it. So you can see the voltage fluctuate and just see how fast this thing is. All right, now I've got this battery charging with my Tarnamps charger up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the charger off so y'all can see how quickly this thing drops. And again, it's going to be super instant and then I'll turn it back on. Hey, and you'll see it kick it right back up. All right, I picked this setting. It's easiest to pick up on the camera. All right, let's turn my charger off. So you'll see it's cutting off. Okay, so now it's fully off. And of course, my battery is not charged up, guys. It's been off for a couple weeks. Super cold. So you can see it's dropping down super, super fast. Look at that go. So you can see we're resting about 10.8 volts. Now let's turn it back on. Another cool thing, of course, you can monitor it real time on your phone as well. Y'all, that is so, so cool. Y'all, this thing is just sweet. I love all the customizations. I love that you can hook your phone up to it. I love that LF Audio is kind of like pushing the on envelope here. And you guys, hey, you might say, hey, it's just a voltmeter. You don't need anything crazy. And while I would agree, it definitely cannot hurt to have a nice, high-quality voltmeter. Again, volts are just so, so important in your system, guys, especially if you have a big system and the fact that this thing really has endless customization for any system whether you're running a stock 12 volt system a 14 volt system 16 volt system 18 volt system whatever it is there's so much customizations on here you're always going to know exactly how healthy your charging system is all right basehead family that is the coolest voltmeter on the market of course be a link in the description below go check it out guys super cool of course made right here in America, made by some really cool guys that love car audio. I met the owners at some of the shows here in North Carolina. Super, super chill guys. And again, just so cool that they're kind of pushing the envelope, doing something else cool here. Y'all, I am so, so excited for just car audio in general, just to see all the cool stuff that is going to come out here in the next year or two, guys. I think it's going to be insane. And stuff like this is just a start. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That is the best way to support uh, what I do here on the channel. But that's going to do it. Remember, as always, y'all, Keep basing on.